this video, I'm going to show you how to receive input in Python. Hello everyone, my name is Damario Siono. I'm a full-time data analyst and content creator. Welcome to my tutorial about Python. As I mentioned before in the beginning, I'm going to show you how to receive input in Python. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, so um, for you who, who might don't know, so I'm using reply.com to play about Python things. So what you need to do is first uh, create a reply. So you can click plus and then choose Python. And then let's say receive input. Okay, then create reply. Uh, all right, so in Python, we use input, uh, let's say, to function to ask the user again for the input. So the, the function looks like this. So input, open bracket, and close bracket here. So and then once the user plus enter, uh, the input value is returned. I'll give you one of the example. So let's say I want to name this function get get user input. Okay. Um, then what you need to do first, let's say I want to create a variable called name and then equal to input uh, what is your name? Okay. So uh, in this function, I want. So when the, the program run, I want to show the line what is your name, and the user be able to input the value here. And then once it's uh, enter the value will be stored under variable name. So that's basically the, the idea how to use an uh, input function in Python. And then in order to show it to the user, we need to use a print like that. So print something like that. So let's say, uh, let's run this program. Okay. What is your name? Uh, let's say Robert. Uh, okay. But wait, the hmm, the program does not show Robert here. So when when the program print it doesn't show Robert, why? The reason the the program does not show Robert here because in the print section here. Python does, doesn't know what to print because as you can see in the bracket, it's empty. Even though we already store the information in name, but when we print it, we need to define again what variable we want to uh, show. So in this example, I want to put name here. Okay. So let's run the program again. Uh, what is my name? Robert. See, as you can see, when the user enter the program, it will show Robert. This is just a simple uh, that line of code, so to say, in order for you to to use input function in Python. Let's uh, spice a little bit uh, the, the program, okay? So I'm gonna uh, use more than uh, one variable. Let's say I want to define again the name is equal to print. And then don't forget to use a quotation mark, something like that. Uh, what is your name? And then uh, second variable, I want to create something like H, let's say, uh, print, what is your H, right? 
So here we I so I define two variable, name and age. Uh, each of them, I assign specific uh, line uh, a string. What is your name? What is your age? So, and then I want to print it. Print. Uh, let's say name. And then print H, something like that. Right, so if I run this program, <laughs> dude, <laughs> uh, you know, the problem is that I forget to, to use input here. So let's, let, let, let's do that again, okay? Uh, instead of print, we use uh, input. Okay, so my bad, my bad. Apologize. So let's do that again. Um, I wanna minimize this one. Let's start again. So, what is your name, Robert? Hello, my name is Robert. Uh, an age, let's say I want to use 24. And then you see, when I click enter, it shows uh, Robert and 24. But uh, it doesn't look right, you know. Um, I want to be able to, to make the result more appealing. I want to to show like hello Robert uh, here is your age 24 or maybe uh, 20 age uh, question mark I uh, we have the same age something like that so I want to concatenate together both a string and also um, uh, the input function so we can spice a little bit. So instead of uh, creating print name, print age, I want to say like print, print, uh, print, um, open bracket, uh, open bracket and open quotation mark, then hello, um, then you use variable plus uh, and then name something like that All right and then print open bracket let's say twin uh, let's say h Plus, here's old bracket space. Let's say I'm I am plus uh, H. Plus years old two. Okay, so let's try to run this program again. Uh, what is your name, Robert? Uh, and what is your age? Let's say uh, twenty-four. You see, when I click enter, I say the 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 program will show. The result, hello Robert, 24, 24 years old, I am 24 years old too. So uh, it's, I need to put some space here. So space and space. So let's try again. Uh, what does your name? Uh, uh, the Mario, why not? Age 25. I am 25 years old. Oh, 
something is wrong here. I should not put uh, uh, okay, space here is good, but also space here. So let's run this program again. Uh, the Mario 25. See, it's good. Now it's good. So hello, the Mario 25 years old. I am 35 years old too. Well, it's not actually my age. Um, right, so this is the basic um, program how Python uh, receiving input. So what you need to understand is that to, to receive an input out or to make the user input the information, you need to use function input, open bracket, and close bracket. Uh, one thing you need also to understand that um, uh, whatever whatever ever uh, you enter as input the input uh, function convert it to a string you need also to keep in mind so imagine if uh let's let's run the program again uh mario 26 so this uh 26 yeah even though it's, it is an integer uh in this example this they uh the python uh treat it as a string so it's not an integer it's not a float it's a string and then that's why they can concatenate uh, it to with uh, years old I am and years old something like that yeah so right so that's it guys uh, I hope this uh, tutorial help you um, and then you understand how to receive input uh, using Python. This is a tutorial, of course, tutorial Python for a beginner. If you like this video, make sure to click like uh, and then yeah, share it to your friends, your, I don't know, people who wants to learn Python from a basic. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to support uh, me. And then yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.